Last but not least, we need to work on our motor, also known in Q-Ground Control as actuator output. And you'll see that I have these labeled for the motor positions, one, two, three, and four. So we're going to assign the outputs, and then we're also going to be concerned with a spin direction of each of these motors. And we'll see a diagram here in a moment where one and two, these motors are going to spin counterclockwise, for both one and two, and then for three and four, these are going to spin clockwise. So once again, you'll notice that I do not have the propellers installed. I will do that right before flight. The last thing that I'll mention is I, I have a little piece of painter's tape around each of the motor shafts that just makes it easy to see the spin direction when we have to configure that. My Dexy is powered up, broadcasting a network. Obviously, we have a good bind and I'm in Q-Ground Control. I'm going to go down to the Actuators tab. The first thing that we want to do is set our main one through four output to D-Shot 1200. What that enables us to do is, in the old days of drone building, if your speed controller didn't support changing spin direction, you'd have to unsolder two of the three leads. In our case, we have these MR30s that plug in, or you'd have to remove two of the three and flip those wires and that just makes things a little bit cumbersome. So D-Shot allows us to do that uh, through configuration in Q-Ground Control. We'll set our uh, motor outputs for main one. We'll set motor one. Main two, we'll do motor two, motor three, and then motor four. So those are now set up. What we now need to do is the assignment for the outputs. And that is a wonderful thing that we can now do all through software, I'll click on identify and assign motors. Each of the motors will spin up one at a time and then I'll click the motor in the diagram. So I'll click yes. See here motor number three was spinning. Now motor two, so I'll click on two. Motor one, now let's say at any point in time you don't see the motor spin, you're not paying attention, I can click spin motor again. So that's motor one, I'll click on one. And then motor four. Now that we've set our output to D-Shot 1200, assigned our motors, there's one known issue with uh, Q-Ground Control. The version that we're using currently is 4.4.0. And to be safe, after we do the actuator motor mapping, we believe this is a bug in Q-Ground Control but the workaround is we'll go ahead and reboot the vehicle. And while we do that, I'm going to go ahead and close Q-Ground Control. We'll open Q-Ground Control back up. I'm still connected to the Dexy network. We'll go into our comm links and then make sure that we reconnect with Q-Ground Control. We'll go to our actuators and then we'll run this test. We want to make sure that our motor mapping is correct. So I'm going to do an actuator test. I'll click to enable this slider. We'll obviously make sure that we have no propellers installed. We'll slide motor one. You can see here, motor one is spinning. We'll test motor two, motor three, and then motor four. That gives us a proper motor mapping. And the final thing we'll do is we'll make sure that our motor rotations or spin direction are counterclockwise for one and two, as we see in the diagram in Q-Ground Control, and clockwise for three and four. The reason motor spin direction is important is we obviously want to have balance for us to have a good uh, hover profile and ultimately leads us to great position hold. So what we'll do first is I'll test motor one I'll enable the sliders. Obviously, I have this painter's tape and I'll just barely slide motor one up. And I can tell by the direction or the side of my finger that the tape is touching. It's currently spinning counterclockwise, which is correct. We'll go down to motor two. That's, that's going counterclockwise, which is also correct. Motor three. 
going counterclockwise, which is incorrect. We want this to go clockwise. So what we'll do is we'll disable the slider and then we'll set the spin direction. Now this isn't entirely intuitive, but what we'll do is there are two spin direction buttons. I'll go ahead and select motor three. I'll test again. It's still going counterclockwise. So what that tells us is we need to use the set spin direction two button, set motor three. And now what we should observe is that motor three is spinning clockwise, which is the proper direction and what we want. We know that motor four from our previous test is spinning in the incorrect direction. I'll go ahead and set spin direction two for motor four, turn this on, and now motor four is spinning clockwise. What we have after this test is motor one and two were spinning in the proper counterclockwise direction. In three and four, we were able to re reverse the direction so both of these spin clockwise. In doing that, now all of our motor mappings, one, two, three, and four, are in the correct position. And also we have the proper rotation for each of the motors. I'll go ahead and disable our actuator testing slider. And let me just do a quick bench test. I'm going to arm Dexy, give it a little bit of throttle. We now know that our motor positions and spin directions are correctly configured. Now that we have the build and configuration done, we can now move on to the next section of doing our initial flight test.